On 28th August 2022, these 100 meter tall super tech towers in Noida city were turned to dust in a matter of 12 seconds. Using more than 3,700 kilograms of explosives, India witnessed the largest demolition to date of a building because the Supreme Court ruled them as illegal constructions. After the dust settled, a mountain of rubble took its place. The aftermath of the event left unanswered questions about the 80,000 tons of debris left behind. This is when re-sustainability, one of the five construction and demolition waste recycling plants in the national capital region, took up the mammoth task of recycling this waste. A public-private partnership between the company and the Noida Authority, the plant spread across five acres of land has the capacity to recycle up to 800 tons of CND waste every day. As we have been able to get from the Norda 30, the amount of CND waste is 28,000 tons of Twin Tower. We have to process it here and process it in a scientific way. After the process, we will remove the aggregates from the process, and we will use the tile form in the tile form and convert it into the market. Every day for the last two months, these trucks have been transporting debris and rubble, consisting largely of concrete, cement, asphalt, wood and plastic, from the demolition site to the plant. Unwanted materials like plastic and wood are then segregated manually. Paramjeet, the site manager, tells us how 300 tons of debris from the Twin Towers is being recycled here every day. Now this car is coming from the bridge. Now we have wet it with water. After wet it, this car is going up to the top. We will dump it in the top of the hopper. ये हमारा वाइब्रेटर स्क्रीन है यहाँ से मटेरियल वॉश होने के बाद अलग अलग होता है इसके अलग अलग साइजेस है फाइव एम एम टेन एम एम ट्वेंटी एम एम एंड फोर्टी एम एम ये यहीं से फिर अलग अलग जगह पे अलग अलग कन्वेयर बेल्ट लगी हुई है ये अलग अलग जगह पे ये स्टोर हो जाता है अकॉर्डिंग टू री सस्टेनेबिलिटी नथिंग गोस टू वेस्ट एट दिस फैसिलिटी even the residual mud is stored in large water tanks where a chemical is added to separate mud from water. This water is then reused to make tiles like the ones used in this school at Noida. Recent estimates of 2020 by the Centre for Science and Environment say that India generates 150 million tonnes of CND waste annually, of which 1% gets recycled. Unlike other solid waste, CND waste doesn't stink but severely impacts the environment. A lot of this waste, you have to understand what the composition of this waste is. A lot of this waste uh, consists of concrete, of minerals, of metals. Uh, like you can see, there are all kinds of metals used in uh, construction and demolition. It, uh, it disrupts the environmental chain in these uh, eco-sensitive zones. Uh, very often through either groundwater uh, or when it is improperly disposed of through air pollution. Uh, it makes its way into the human physiology and leaves long-lasting uh, impacts. Uh, so that's the first component. The second component is the impact it has on uh, increasing the, uh, the disasters effect of climate link disasters. Uh, like I mentioned, a lot of this is uh, very often dumped in low-lying areas and floodplains. Uh, what this does is it clogs waterways, uh, it uh, disrupts the usual channel of water evacuation and therefore it increases the, uh, uh, the severity of floods, of cyclones, uh, of natural disasters. 
The hugely neglected CND waste, often lying in plain sight, is said to account for 25 to 30 percent of the municipal solid waste generated in any Indian city. And most of it is dumped illegally. This group of volunteers is out on a walk in Delhi's Mehroli neighborhood to spot illegal dumping of CND waste or malba as it is called in Hindi. If you're walking along the periphery, there's a lot of malba there. Called the Malba Project, the organizers behind this walk are trying to prevent illegal dumping of construction waste in the city by reporting it to the municipal authorities. The process is fairly simple. A picture is clicked, a landmark is added, and the municipality's trucks then pick up the debris dumped at illegal sites. We reported, I think, three to four illegal dumping spots and very different actually, never really been in these lanes of Mehroli. Is there anyone from this group who would want to come along for the more intense Malba walk? Shamita Chaudhary, the founder of the Malba project, is an architect keen on promoting responsible practices in the construction sector. I think uh, when I would, like generally the way commercial architecture would be practiced is very unsustainable. I am someone who's very fond of nature and I used to go to the mountains a lot to trek. And I remember this one time I'd gone to uh, Manali, Manali just being the base camp for a lot of treks. And I got stuck in a 12 hour long traffic jam um, where it was just malba on both sides of the road. And it wasn't a landslide. It was construction and demolition waste and I think it was such a wake-up call that this is what my profession uh, contributes to. The city of Delhi has over 200 collection points and five recycling plants for construction and demolition waste. Despite this, Malba is illegally dumped on its pavements. To try and understand why CND waste management is in as dismal a state, the Malba project has come up with a Malba map. This basically has three major things that we map out. One, in blue you will see the collection centers. So there are over 200 collection points um, in Delhi. Then in green you have the collection points. So you will see that there are uh, five collection points um, that you can spot over here. Um, and in red uh, we have the uh, illegal dumping points for Malba. And these were um, what the residents would uh, send to us. So they would click photos of a malba which was maybe dumped outside their house. We told people that uh, if you see illegally dumped malba in your neighborhood, please report it to us so that we can put it on the map so that at least we can take it to the MCD and sort of make a very strong case that, hey, this needs to be cleaned up. In 2016, the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change drew up the construction and demolition waste management rules that required this waste to be collected, transported and processed. DDA land, which MCD has put out as a designated collection point. Which... According to the Municipal Corporation of Delhi, illegal dumping of CND waste calls for a fine of 1,000 rupees on residents and 5,000 rupees on non-residents. In fact, they also monetarily incentivize recycling CNT material. Whenever anybody constructs the house, so we have started taking charges for management of the CND waste. And with the condition that if you will give me the receipt that we have sent this CND waste to the authorized facility, then we will return that money. And it's a huge money, not very small money one can do this thing. Even then, the, out, the output, you can say, the success is very poor. The collection points for CND waste are spread across the city and should make it easy for the debris to reach the right spots. However, their existence is barely a notion for the informal waste collectors, who are usually sent out in the night to drop off this waste to avoid getting caught by the authorities. Further, a lackadaisical attitude of the builders and contractors in putting systems in place and adhering to rules 
gets in the way of proper disposal. They're business-minded people. They want to save money, they want to make money, they're making their ends meet. And illegal dumping does not make economic sense for them. Um, they would rather sell their malba to someone who would use it for like backfilling. Only when they're not able to find um, that place to dump is when out of desperation because they have to do a certain number of trips per day, uh, you know, to to meet their uh, financial targets, to break even. So, you know, majboori mein they have to dump it. But if you give them a point, they're happy to come. Finding a more coordinated approach towards tackling CND waste is a long road ahead considering the country is just waking up to its existence. Not having an end-to-end -end demolition, collection and transportation system for recycling of the waste only adds to the problem. But those like the volunteers of the Malba project or even this school using waste from the super tech towers is at least beginning to pave the way. Thanks for watching Eco India. If you like the story, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to scroll.in on YouTube.